<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This dynamic thrombonist hails from the city of brotherly love and has shared studios with the likes of Jill Scott, Michael Jackson, and Earth, Wind, and Fire. And after a serious health scare nearly took his life, he's now recovered and ready to drop some new music. Please welcome my good friend, Jeff Bradshaw. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Boy, say you're shy now. You're so sorry, you just cleaning in the morning. Help. How are you? How are you? How are you? Doing well, you? doing well. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, okay. You look amazing. Oh, I'm trying to hold together for old man. You're doing you know. your thing. I say the shoes you're coordinating. I'm yeah, and yeah, I like how you know he has his uh, his uh, lapel pin. Yeah, Hello, yeah, one of them with the frames the on. Wood, the wood on wood. I, I, I see the wood you. On wood. The wood on wood. You know I see you. You're doing your thing. Oh, kick your shoe out then, because I, I see you. We doing shoe cam? Yes, we, we can do a shoe cam. We got a little something going on. You look real nice with it. That's how you're supposed to come down to the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Look here. Oh. We like to get in folks' business down to the circle. It's fine, <laughs> okay. but it's going to be good business. Okay. You were raised in the church. Your father's a pastor, right? Uh, he was a, a youth minister. Yeah, youth but yes, minister, he was a minister. Yes. yes. You know what I want to know, and I've always wanted to know, because you can sing, too. You got a little piece of a note to the, to <laughs> the singer. A little piece of a note. Okay. okay. But why the trombone? Because technically, it's not like it's the French horn. It's not like it's the violin. These popular... Um, instruments. You know, I was in the band. The trombone was like the, the kids in the back. Right. So <laughs> why the trombone? And let me tell you, you play that trombone. Thank you. Thank you. You really do. Um, I, I, I always tell the story when I was in high school, mm -hmm. uh, when they was like, uh, you know, everybody stand by the instruments you want to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so everybody stood, you know, around the drums. You got the guys standing yeah. around the saxophones, the guitars. And there was a stack of trombones in the corner by themselves. Right. And I was like, you know, I, I grew up in church watching my father play trombone. And he was like the coolest person I ever met, the flyest right. OG of all OGs. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, you know, if my father played it, it had to be cool. So, you know, I, I felt like I wanted to do something that uh, hadn't been done mm. uh, in, the, in the area where I came from. And my, because my father did it, right. I, just, I just always wanted to do things that he did because he was an amazing example of wow. all things. For Message. Me. Wow, that's all right mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. Well, that definitely is a unique instrument. Yes. You do amazing while playing. Let's talk a little bit about Neo Soul and how do you mm. feel that you have infused or embodied that feeling of Philadelphia, that brother, brotherly love, that agape mm -hmm. love? And yeah. how, how does that play out in your music? Uh, that's where I started. You know, I started in the clubs when nobody had record deals and we were all playing in, in different clubs like Silk City and the Black Lily and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, Wilhelmina's and all these places mm -hmm. that we got together and, and, and collaborated on music uh -huh. together and was creating and, and, you know, especially back then with The Roots and, and a Touch of Jazz studio with Jazzy Jeff and wow. all those great producers that he had, Andre Harris, Vidal Davis and all those guys uh, worked on this music. We were all just, just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we, I don't think we knew, I think we knew that we were having fun and that we, we, all, we were all talented, but I was just... I wanted to be in the in the rooms with these incredible producers, and as yeah. the music was coming together, I, they were just like, "Jeff, you want to play on this?" I was like, "Yeah." I was, <laughs> right. I was just going from studio to studio. Yeah. I don't think I really wow. knew how yeah. and how amazing what we were doing was at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm just so glad that I was there at the beginning of it. And I don't think we were thinking about what. Uh, uh, what, it's what, what, be what, what it's going to be, what it's going to be called, mm. who's going to listen to it. We just, we were just being incredibly creative mm -hmm. and loving, loving each other and 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 fellowshipping and in the studio, you know, night mm -hmm. after night, night yeah. after night, you know, just creating, creating music. It is and, a sweet and, and unique. Sound. Yes, yeah. and speaking of legendary and being in the studio with legends, mm -hmm. you have been in the studio with the likes of Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Erica Badu, Jill Scott, Mary J. Blige. Like the list goes on and on. You have worked with some heavy hitters. What has that done for your craft? And what kind of lessons have you learned working with such stars? Yeah. Uh, first, I've just been, I've been blessed by having great relationship, having great relationships with the writers and producers. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like, um, to, to, I, I played on Butterflies. I did the Horn Arrangers on yes. Butterflies. Oh. A lot of people didn't know that. Like, wait a minute, yeah, Butterflies, because Marsha you was, Marsha was Marsha. a writer. So Marsha so and Dre. Yeah, because yeah, Marsha's from Philly, Marsha and Right, Brogia. right. Yeah. So Marsha's, uh, uh, from Liverpool. She's from Liverpool. Right. But she came right. to Philly, hung out. And so Marsha and Andre Harris uh, got together and, and, and did Butterflies. And I just happened to be a fly on the wall. Mm -hmm. Dre let me hear it. I yeah. hung the horn line and the rest was too. history. Wow. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, I was on the song with Michael Jackson. Hey, you wow. know. Amazing. You know, and it kind of just happened that way. I, I just, you just, a lot of times people think that, uh, um, 
that you, everything is going to you know fall in your lap and all that. Sometimes you just got to be there. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to check here, or check there. It was like well, sometimes you just got to mm -hmm. you got to be there in in the, in the process of yeah. it all. Mm -hmm. So then when it all happens, you're like, oh my god, all of this is happening. It was like uh, I can't show up unless you have this or that for me. I understand that they're in the place of the business that we have to be you know we have to be cognizant of taking care of business. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just got to be a part of the a, moment. Mm -hmm. and that's, oh, and, that's, and that's, that's where I was. Mm -hmm. I was I was you know early '90s. I was in. I was a part of the moment mm -hmm. and in this studio where this little pretty green eyed girl <laughs> was sitting in the corner cutting up fruit and James Poison and, and Questlove James, called me yes. to play on this record of this girl named Erica. And I walked wow. in the door and Erica was sitting uh, sitting on the floor cutting up fruit, like just kinda hanging out in her wow. own zone. And I didn't know that it was like it was gonna be like a other, you know, Erica Bad Erica Badu. Yeah, that yeah. Thing. And then, you know, and I got to play on um uh other side of the game. I played the horns on the other side of the game. Mm. You know, a lot of people didn't know that either. Mm. Like, I played on a lot of hit records, mm. you know. Well, I'll tell you, Jeff, a lot of people did not know that you were diagnosed with diverticulitis. Yes. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about how did that affect you in your daily uh, lifestyle? And how did that affect your music? Oh, boy. Mm. Uh, how much time we got? Uh, <laughs> not much. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, 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 short version. Um, ouch. Mm. Um, Bad eating, bad diet for many years. This is probably 26 years for me in the business. Mm -hmm. Probably over 20 touring and um, just, you know, getting pizza and wings and climbing up to your bunk on a tour bus. Wow. You know, bad, bad eating, bad diet. And uh, it was a very painful, uh, very, very painful whew, thing. It was scary and, you know, it was... That thing changed my life. But you came through. Oh, yeah, And, yeah, we, and yeah, we pray for yeah, you. Yeah. And I'm so glad you're here to see I'm blessed. Today. You know, well, uh, blessed. my friends, uh, Charles Whitfield, uh, one of my good friends was in our Hidden Beach. One of my good friends, we all came together. They called all the people that I work with. Yeah. I mean, because, I, because when it happened, I was in rehearsal with Will Downing and Joe Beasley and wow. Cal Riddick. And I had to get rushed to the hospital. Ray's supposed to be getting ready to go on the Cal Jazz mm -hmm. Cruise. All this stuff was happening. Right. And it, it was like, we, we need to figure out what's happening. On top of all that, I didn't have, I didn't have health insurance. Exactly. Well, Jeff, hold that note right there. we we got to go to break, but we definitely want to dig a little bit deeper into that d disease pathology. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for sharing. Know. We'll be right back, guys. Just stick yes. around. More right here with Sister Circle. We are back with Jeff Bradshaw. And I, I want to talk a little bit more about the, 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 the disease that you had, the diverticulitis. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? Uh, it's inflammation of the large intestines. It's when food and old particles of food get trapped in the diverticula, mm. in, you know, in the, into the diverticula, and it causes blood-filled pockets. It's very painful. Mm. Eat more fiber, just add more fiber in your diet, and you won't have the experience I did. Well, and it changed your life. It definitely, yes, changed, definitely your life. changed my life. And it, and it changed you musically, too. Uh, uh, we got yeah. a new album coming out. Uh, it's on it? the way. It's on and, the and way. And it's called Stronger. <laughs> Stronger, right? huh? It's called Stronger. Huh? And I say you got a lot of strong shows on the lineup as well. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the album and um, about your shows. Uh, the album, Stronger, uh, out this year. Um, Raheem Devon, Robert Glasper, mm. Moonchild, uh, T.J. Moses. Uh, no, Selena Johnson. Huh? Selena Johnson. We, 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 That's we, how you gonna do it. We working on something. Oh, Don't do that. Wow, live on TV. Yeah. Mm. That's, what we That's how I roll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like accountability. So, right, right. Uh, uh, I'm out this year. I'm doing a city winery tour, the Stronger tour. It's yes. in August, uh, and I'm I'm playing uh, Atlanta. I'm playing uh, Sweet Food Lounge. I'm actually playing at Revel on. Thursday, yeah, uh, yeah. so I'm here in Atlanta, and, and I'm really excited about that show yes. on Thursday. You know, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. How do you balance everything? You, you are a, a, a father of four. You have three girls and one son, and mm -hmm. you're always on the road. How do you balance that, Jeff? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I, <laughs> well, let's find out more about it in, in social media. Stick around with us. Right. But we got to go, unfortunately, and we yes. love you so much for coming. Right. Thank you so Thank much you for guys. joining us today on The Sister Circle. We'll be back tomorrow with the diva, Marlo Hampton. We love having you inside The Circle today, and we can't wait to do it again. Let's see you tomorrow. Yay! So you got to stick around with us and you're going to do some social yeah. media. Okay. And tell us all about it.